You want to see the... Oh, don't don't get the dishes, bro. Man, we cooked dinner last night. Check it. It's my. It's actually a baby formula. You put baby formula in a jar with a glass of milk and two glasses of water, and um, it's actually it works as a uh, as a stem cell. So it, your your muscles grow and your and your wiener grows a lot bigger. Hasn't worked for me yet, but that's a really good. One. So today we're actually going to look at a car that I am 99% uh, willing to throw an offer on. It's a it's a pretty badass car, I'm not going to lie. You might be able to see it in the title and thumbnail of this video, so don't skip the video. Just watch it the whole way through. Um, as far as yesterday's video, I just want to go and address this real quick. It was a total joke, guys. Like I, I, A lot of you understood that it was just a fun video, the whole e-bike thing. It was just for fun. It was supposed to be funny. It's not actually the replacement for the Cobra. It's the replacement. Some people believe that, though. No, I, I know. It's kind of, what, what? It's the internet. Bro, wake the fuck up. We're driving an hour out. There's this dealership that has the exact car, exact car to a freaking T that I am looking for when it comes to color, spec, everything, Whoa. and then some. This is the exact car I want, and I think you guys are going to be absolutely satisfied with it. Um... And as soon as it, you know, if I end up getting this, it's going to be this weekend. I'll go pick it up and it's game on. We're, we're making some content. We're going to make some, some different kind of content and it's going to be a, it's going to be some, some fun stuff. So, uh, let's head to Ford and, uh, let's go check out this car. Guys, we are out here. This is definitely the boonies. We're half a mile away. Look around real quick. <laughs> Nothing but trees and some road, but who knows? Maybe, uh, maybe this boonie pickup will, uh be the deal I'm looking for so fingers crossed and uh, I'm, I'm really excited to see what you guys think about this car you know it's obviously nothing super super unique of course but it's still a still a car I've been very excited to get in Go do this. I gotta take a mean ass piss. Oh, look, you found it. Mm. You heard that? She'll send it too. Alright, we got um Alright, you ready? Moment of truth. Pretty hard to see. I think those people were trying to look at this car. Who was? You think so? Yeah. She's clean. I mean, oh, nice car. Thank you. E. Sounds good, I'll tell you what. It's kind of crazy. Here, take this. Fill some stuff on the outside of it. Sounds good. Yeah. It's 
smoke something. It's a 6,000 mile car, I'm just checking. <laughs> I should make a move on that. It's clean. The price down. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, short pump. It's what I want for real, and it, the fact is that it's here, you know. Yeah. So I mean, we're gonna go in. Something we gotta figure out a price on. I'm willing to buy it. Um, I'm willing to buy it today. But like Jordan said, we gotta talk about price, discuss the warranty and everything, and the return policy that they offer. And if everything checks out, I mean, I might be driving it home today. I don't know. But dude, it that's what I want right there. <laughs> that car is exactly what I want. Mm -hmm. Let's go inside. Ten grand or whatever it is mm -hmm. at the loan, it doesn't hurt us one bit. Okay, gotcha. So. You ready to drive it home? No. They're driving it. I'm not. I'm gonna wreck it. I'm too stressed to drive that right now. <laughs> Should have bought a Hellcat. Well, we did it, boys. We made some moves. We made them quick. Terminator Cobra's gone. I finally bought my dream 10-speed. And they gotta tell the three o'clock not to come, huh? Huh? They gotta tell the three. Yeah, they gotta tell the three o'clock appointment that they're bullshitting about not to come because I know they're bullshitting. Anyway, you know I'm very satisfied with it. Six thousand miles. We're gonna get more into it. Um, you know once we get it home and stuff. Jordan's actually gonna be the first one to drive it home. Believe it or not. Um, I'm just a little too stressed to enjoy it. So the first time I drive it, drive it. I want to just be excited. I'm just a little stressed right now. I don't know. I'm weird. I'm OCD. I told y'all this. I know a lot of people aren't gonna. You know, I agree with this whole decision of getting rid of the Terminator, but I now have a fully loaded, fully optional car, S550, that I can travel around the country with. It's badass, and um, you know, it just, it's gonna be really, really versatile for what I'm trying to do, so uh, I'm stoked. I'm really stoked, but I think it's getting out of detail, and as soon as it does, you guys are gonna see it firsthand. Yay, she clean. Oh yeah, fresh detail. What this think? is the spots. Detailer needs to, needs to lock it in a little bit it better. A, it was a quick detail because you were on the spot.
Let's go, dude. Fuck yeah. I am gassed right they, now. They got the stuff off the mirror, it looked like. This fucking thing. <laughs> this thing's nice, bro. Fuck, dude, these seats. I almost wanted a Recaro for these, but... Dude. Nah, these are probably real comfortable. They're 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 comfy. Plus they're heated in and AC. Yeah, heated in AC. I'll put the registration in here if you get pulled. I'll put the registration in here if you get pulled. Damn, brother. Hey, it's yours. I'm excited to do some big things with this man. They got a sign for you to take a picture next to. Yeah. Hey. Right off rip. Y'all start deciding a name for this bad boy. She's mean. God, I'm so stoked on this, but we gotta run. I'm gonna get this home, and um, we gotta we gotta make some pit stops. You ready? Ready. Start her up. Keys Where's are in it. Keys, oh, keys are in it. There. I'll follow you home. just happened that's crazy dude what the fuck bro Jordan got freaking pulled in the coyote this is nuts dude like come on no front plate maybe because the the cop was in front of him and he passed the cop He's probably gonna get my ass next, for real. All right guys, so we made it back home and I just wanna apologize for pretty much being all over the place with this video, having it jump from this section to that section to driving home, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, uh, my ultimate goal today was just to go look at this car. And um, as soon as I saw it, felt it out, test drove it and what have you, uh, instantly fell in love. And I wanted to leave that day with that car to have it fully secured and play no games. So. One last look before we wrap up today's video. Drop a comment down below, let me know what you think. Lucifer's little brother. Boom, 2020 Mustang GT 401A performance pack. And there she is, boys and ladies. I really gotta stop saying just boys, but there it is. And good God, man, this is this is right up my alley. This car is just me. Like that, that screams me, 100%. Along with Blucifer still, of course, but pretty much fulfilling the full spectrum now. You know, we got the S197, S550. I don't really think it gets better than that. And just looking at this is kind of, it's just insane to me. Um, you know, I'm 26 years old and like, dude, what? 
what is life man i remember when we started with a seven thousand dollar two valve and now you know it's like 70 something no it's like eighty thousand dollars worth of cars right here and just these two life is freaking crazy man look at those two together oh <laughs> it's so sick oh my god the blue and the black she we had to go black on black man i had to with the s550 is by far one of my favorite colors and i lucked out with this car tremendously you might be able to tell already i'm not going to talk about it in this video we may have mentioned it when we went to first go look at it but i'm going to save that for another video we'll go into depth i'll give you guys a whole walk around the whole scoop on it but um i just wanted to you know i wanted to get home and show you guys it's now the next day i've been driving it around drove it to my parents my dad drove it he freaking loves it um just everything this car has to offer, man. Everything it has to offer is just, it's just perfect. It fits me, fits my personality so well. The black on black, you know, all I wear is black. Um, black interior, fully loaded. Like I get all the bells and whistles, but yet I still have a whole new platform I have yet to experience. I know at the end of the day, it's a Coyote Mustang. It is my first automatic Mustang. Why'd I say auto? Automatic Mustang. It's a 10 speed at that. It has all these bells and whistles that I've never really experienced in a new car before. It, um, you know, it's a gen three motor. It's, it's an S550 body. It definitely drives different. It's a freaking Mercedes Benz on the inside. I'm just happy, man. I'm just so happy with this. And you know, I feel, I, I'm not even gonna say it because you know, things just happen in life and I, my mind's change and goals change and whatnot. But I'm really satisfied with this purchase. I'm not going to say I'm never going to sell it or it's not going anywhere because who knows? Maybe one day I might switch it out, GT350 or, you know, ZL1. Who knows? Who honestly knows? But as of right now, as of today, I can honestly say getting rid of my 23,000 mile Terminator Cobra that was canned, my ultimate dream car. This right here fits my wants. It fits my needs. And it's just, it's so versatile. And it just makes me so excited because I'm actually going out of town with it this weekend. I'm going to Charlotte with it the next weekend and it's just it's perfect man it is absolutely perfect and i think it's finally fulfilled i'm finally fulfilled with that missing gap of what two cars do i want to have because i love blucifer to death love that manual mt82 boosted car i want to enjoy the na life we're going to talk more about it i'll give you the whole scoop on that this week so there you have it um the new s550 and it needs a name it needs a name so drop a comment down below and then let me know what you think and guys i appreciate your support like truly i really do and you know we should be back tomorrow 8 p.m eastern time for another video just want to say thank y'all love y'all oh fuck all right i'm out see you later